My name is Dr Peter Huff. I teach uh, international relations, master's international relations here at Middlesex University. I'm the program leader and I also teach on the course and I have done since its in inception in 1998. Students on the MA International Relations will learn both theory and practice of international relations in a range of different areas. We have three taught modules, um, one on principles and practice of international relations, one on global security and one on globalisation. On principles and practice in international relations, the students are taught about foreign policy. They're taught to analyse and understand competing theories of foreign policy making, foreign policy implementation, and study foreign policies of a number of major powers comparatively. On the global security module, they're taught a range of theories on the meaning of security. So they're encouraged to think about traditional military national security studies as well as more recent uh, theoretical attempts to advance the field by looking at what's so-called widened security which incorporates non-military forms of security as well as deepened human security. Hence they will look at areas like health security and environmental security as well as the more traditional kind of security subjects like war and terrorism. On the globalisation module, they're encouraged to think critically about globalisation, consider competing theories on globalisation, and explore a range of facets of globalisation, including, for example, um, cultural globalisation, economic globalisation, and the kinds of questions that arise from this. The MA International Relations has a number of original features. For example, within one of our modules, we include an extended United Nations simulation exercise where students play the role of diplomats of various given countries. They're given um, training towards this and then they uh, take part in a quite a detailed simulation exercise. We found students find this very rewarding and gives them a sort of insight into the actual practice of international relations. As well as this we have a number of other original features. We uh, encourage our students to go on internships. We've had a number of very successful recent internships. For example, currently we have some students carrying out internships with the United Nations over in New York. We've also currently got a student who's on an internship with a, a London-based Member of Parliament. So this, we think, also gives us a, a distinct edge over other um, comparable type courses. Other original features, the flexibility of the course, I think, is an original feature. We take students in both January and in October um, all of our teaching is on an evening. Our students go on to uh, a range of careers, um, some political, but of course not all political. Um, international relations is not a specifically vocational course, but nonetheless we have a, a good track record in, in our graduates seeking and finding employment in, in the world of politics. Um, so we do have some students who go on to, to enter the world of diplomacy, go on to become civil servants, go on to, to work for NGOs and international organisations, but we also have students of course who go into the world of business. Mm -hmm.